Well, hi. Hey, I want to thank you wonderful folks for the wonderful, sweet, generous comments you left on my makes video. Just really great. Really great. I want you to know means the world. I love hearing your opinions, your takes, your favorites, your not so favorites, and uh, it's great. So guess what? Whew, let me take a sip of my sparkling water. Mm, it's 90 degrees out today. Now I know, Texas laughs at 90 degrees. Arizona scoffs at 90 degrees, but it's pretty darn hot. And in Virginia, we've got that wonderful humidity to go with it. But that's not why I'm here. Look at this. Simplicity, early fall releases. I was in Hobby Lobby yesterday. Now I didn't go to buy anything sewing related. I was going to pick up a picture that we had framed. But I thought, well, maybe I'll just Look at the simplicity patterns. They are $1.99 this week after all. Oh, and by the way, happy 4th of July. So imagine my glee when I saw the pattern book had a brand new cover on it. And sure enough, early fall release simplicity. I thought, well, maybe they have the catalog out. Surely they don't have these in the drawer. Oh yeah, they had them. So I scooped up a few and I'm gonna show them to you today. This is 8949, a top. It's got some gathers there and it's short sleeve. So you might say, what does that have to do with fall? That doesn't look very warm. Um, I guess it's kind of a transition piece. There are the line drawings. I need more tops. I need to cool off. You know me. All right, here is a very interesting skirt silhouette. This is 8958, and it's sort of fitted there at the waist through the hips, and then it's full. It's a high low hem. A couple different options there, as you can see. I think it is so cute. I don't know if I'd go with a large gingham check like they did, but the sky's the limit with a skirt like this. And I like that it's sort of fitted at the waist and the hips. You know, my seersucker skirt, eh. um, Simplicity 8954. This is another wrap. Wraps are popular. And here's one for fall and winter. I thought that was really great. You can put a button on it if you'd like, if you don't wanna do the ties. And then they have a longer length up here. So you have quite a few styles to choose from. Simplicity 8954, had to get that. This is called the Banded Cardi. And it's a little skimmer of a cardigan. It's very fitted, maybe even sized down one to two sizes, I would think, to get this sort of fit. Has a band that they've done in a contrasting color, and it's kind of cropped, short-waisted. Let's see if you can see that. The banded cardi, very cute. Sweater knit, absolutely. Simplicity 8951. Here is some sweatshirt dressing, 8947. I really like the pink dress that she has on and there were different poses of her in the counter book and that just looked adorable. I imagine it'd be pretty quick to sew up. This version here has a hood on the back and a drawstring there and you've got, looks like a kangaroo pocket on this version here, super warm. That is Simplicity 8947. And this last one is 8960. Kind of an oversized dress. Um, however, I thought it might be really cute to make the dress and put those side ties in to get it a little more fitted rather than just 
hanging free, but I do love a square neckline and I thought, ooh, that looks kind of boho chic, you know? So there were a couple others that I did not buy, but I was so thrilled to get a jump on those. Then, then, are you kidding me? I find those patterns, I turn around, and they have slashed the prices of all of their spring fabrics. Oh no, not just 50% off, $2 and $3 a yard. So yeah, I picked up a few. This is a heathered t-shirt knit. This was $2 a yard. It is a little bit thin, but it's got a nice bit of stretch. Plenty of body to this one. T-shirt, absolutely. Maybe a little bit um, fitted through the bust line and then loose. <laughs> kind of favoring those styles these days. Oh, and thanks everybody who wrote in about the ice cream and said, eat your ice cream. I think somebody wrote to me, don't you know that two bowls a day keep the doctor away? <laughs> I wish. Okay, this is mustard. Now some hate mustard, some like mustard. This is a mustard brushed knit, super soft, pretty stretchy. The back side, if it shows, it's gonna look different, as you can see. Um, I thought, well, I'm gonna try some mustard with those bright flowers on it. $2 a yard. This is a simple little quilting cotton. Just a happy little print in blues and greens. That was $2 a yard. This is only 45 inches wide. I picked up three yards. And I'm thinking maybe a shift dress out of that. It looks very fresh, very crisp. This, now I'm not crazy about Liverpool knits. Those are the textured double knits. Um, they're textured double knits. They're a little bit heavy. You know, I got that heat problem. But I thought this was just too pretty to pass by. This is navy blue, and it's got those great big flowers on it in shades of pink and some light green. This was $3 a yard, and of course, knits are wider, so I believe this was 57 inches wide. It does have that um, Liverpool texture to it, that I'm not crazy about, but I could envision a dress out of this and I think it would be very pretty. Uh, simple chambray here, again, so cool and crisp for summer. A simple cotton, $2 a yard. Maybe a shirt for Brad, maybe a shirt for me. And finally, this almost looks like denim. It is a denim look cotton with white flowers and polka dots. And this was, I can't remember if this one was two or three. Nothing was more than $3 a yard and I chose mostly the $2 a yard stuff because how can you not? Now, I have cottons coming from Hancock's of Paducah. I have a field trip coming tomorrow to Fabric Mart in Pennsylvania, and we are gonna have to be early risers because they're only open tomorrow from eight to 12, and we're about three hours away, so you can see that we're, <laughs> we're gonna get up early. Um, a couple of you inquired about my flamingo fabric for the top I made that had the ruffle going up the back. I purchased that fabric at Hancock's of Paducah, but I know for a fact that they don't have any more. So um, the small scale print of it that I used for the back came from, it's called Fabric Utopia. And I think you might be able to find some there. I don't know if they have a lot, but I was able to find it at fabricutopia.com. So I thought I'd pass that along to you. Other than that, we're probably laying low for the holiday. Traffic in the DC metro area is off the chain. 
We went visiting some good friends yesterday over in Alexandria, Virginia, and when we came out to head home, there were traffic jams like everywhere. And Brad is the shortcut king. He's always gonna take a shortcut. I'm always saying, don't take the shortcut. He's always saying, we gotta take the shortcut. And every shortcut was backed up, so it was awful. And I think that we're just, we had uh, lunch today with my sister and her husband, and I think we're gonna just pack it in for tonight. But if you're celebrating, have a great time, and uh, I'll be checking in with you post Fabric Mart. And once again, thanks for all your support. Mwah to everyone. See you soon. Bye.